Despite Mojang just surprising us with what is arguably the biggest Minecraft Jar Edition snapshot of all time, it does also come at a huge cost, where a developer working on the game behind the scenes did just reveal some devastating news which for many people has completely ruined the excitement for this update entirely. That is why in this video we're going to be covering everything you need to know, including news about the frying table, new upcoming bosses or the lack of, and so much more. With that being said, do not forget to subscribe so you never miss out on more Minecraft news like this, and let's dive straight into it. So, just before we get into the very latest update news and information, let's start by actually going over the recent leaks, teasers, and reveals that Mojang have been dropping over the past few weeks. This all began all the way back on December the 5th, where it was discovered in a video posted to the official Minecraft YouTube channel that if you paused it and zoomed in onto one of the developer's screens, you could see they had a tab open for something called the frying table. This of course is very mysterious since there is nothing currently in the game called a frying table, but most importantly this made sense because it was confirmed at Minecraft Live 2023 that this update is not only focused around the trap filled trial chambers but also playful engineering, those are the two main factors of Minecraft 1.21. So with that being said many people did expect this to be some kind of a new or modernised version of the furnace, giving us much more efficiency and maybe even allowing us to fully automate the frying process. What is much more frustrating is that over the past few weeks especially, Mojang has definitely been playing into this desire for the frying table, and they have been leaning into it more and more with just boatloads of teasers. Back on March the 18th, we got this very cryptic post just saying you must craft additional furnace over and over and over again, which on the surface seemed very strange. Many people took this as a hint towards the frying table, but after having time to reflect on this, it was most likely just some kind of a reference to a game called StarCraft 2. However, this next teaser specifically, in my opinion, is inexcusable. In a very recent video talking all about the new mace item added to the game, towards the end of the video, the developers just start randomly talking about how the new heavy core can be used as a decorative item, where then in the background for some strange reason out of everything they could have chosen they decided to feature it in a kitchen. Many people did quickly notice that there appeared to be some kind of an oven. If you do look more closely it is very clear that this was made using furnace minecarts and a few other blocks to make it look like an oven, however many people including Wattles did take this as a hint that the frying tank is close. I was literally working on a video all about this topic, where to my surprise, on March the 23rd, a user called Boropaws did make public two screenshots from what I assume is the official Minecraft Discord. The first one was from King B Dogs, the developer at Mojang Studios, posted back on the 19th of March, saying there never was a frying table, it was literally just a tab someone had open with a random name completely unrelated to Minecraft. So that is pretty devastating news. I've heard similar things from Felix, another developer at Mojang Studios, however just to have it plainly spoken like this is just such upsetting news, especially considering that that really did not seem like a coincidence. If you look back at the screenshot it did appear that this tab was open in between other things being developed for Minecraft, so I really do not see how this was just completely unrelated to the game. Maybe the developers did have plans for this but eventually scrapped it, but according to King B Dogs here there literally never was a frying table. It gets worse though. Posted on the same day also by King B Dogs talking about Minecraft bosses, it was said just so people don't hype themselves into oblivion, it isn't a boss and there is no boss planned. The point of that hint is that the current way of obtaining it will be slightly different than current implementation. So not only does the frying table not even exist, but according to King B Dogs, we're not going to be receiving a new boss as a part of Minecraft 1.21. If you remember all the way back to when we received our first teasers of the trial key, that is when many of us began to expect some kind of a new boss would be added to Minecraft as a part of the trial chambers. It is the perfect setting, the perfect scenario for Mojang to add a new boss. But 
know, we heard it straight from King V Dogs, a very reputable, respectable developer, that there are no bosses planned, the frame table doesn't even exist, it never did, and at the moment, that is all we know. As mentioned, when Mojang originally revealed the Minecraft 1.21 update at Minecraft Live 2023, it was confirmed to be a mix of trap filled trial chambers and playful engineering. And what I find especially disappointing is it feels like Mojang almost used this title as a tagline, when really the update itself does not live up to that name in the slightest. Things began extremely strong with the troll chambers, of course the new spawner item which does regenerate over time, and of course the crafter. King B Dogs did even claim that the Minecraft industrial revolution has begun, but really it feels like it hasn't even got started. To be completely honest, I'm not upset by this news because obviously Mojang never promised any of this, they never officially revealed any of this, so we cannot really be disappointed about something they never originally revealed. However, this does just highlight yet again that Mojang is terrible at communicating with its audience. Looking back just a moment though, when King B Dogs was talking about different methods of items being dropped in the trial chambers, while also brushing off the idea of a new boss, fortunately we finally know what he was talking about here. As of when I'm recording this, we did just receive Minecraft Jar Edition Snapshot 24W13A and it is by far one of the biggest Minecraft Jar Edition Snapshots we have ever seen. Most notably though are the new ominous items, which are completely awesome. Does this make up for the lack of a new boss in this update? In my personal opinion, I do not think so. However, it is great to see that the developers are trying new things, they're experimenting and they're clearly trying to make this update unique. Still though, what leaves me completely confused and almost feeling like I'm being lied to is the entire frying table situation. It is almost undeniable that Mojang were most likely working on something called a frying table. Whether it got scrapped, didn't work out, or we are just completely wrong, I'm not sure. But when you put all of the evidence together, it does just seem that Mojang is lying about the frying table. It just does not add up. Especially when you consider that engineering was originally meant to play a much larger role as a part of this update, I struggle to see that Mojang has not at least considered adding this to the game. But still, if you take away one thing from this video, it is that I do not want this to take away from your enjoyment of Minecraft 1.21 in any way. We just received an amazing Minecraft Java Edition snapshot, so if you've not already, go and check it out. Test it out, give your feedback to the developers, and help to make this game the best it can possibly be. There is still so much over the horizon as we await the release of Minecraft 1.21, most likely around sometime in June. But still, let me know your thoughts about this down below. For more update news and information, do not forget to check out this video before it disappears off your screen. In this one, we do mention a lot of things I skipped over in this video, including the fact that Minecraft 1.21 is basically all but confirmed to be almost over and so much more. Remember, drop this video a like and subscribe for more Minecraft news like this. It is the best place to keep up to date with everything you need to know.